UK, don't let the badge fool you, the new compact Jaguar crossover is very much gasoline fueled. Confusion over the name clearly fooled a few launch attendees though, pre-drive discussion focused on whether it would have sufficient battery endurance to get us the 60 miles to lunch in Brighton, an iconic seaside resort on England's southern coast. Such are the priorities of jet-lagged road testers, the relief palpable when it was realized good old internal combustion power means a range of over 400 miles by the quoted EPA combined figure. And our fish and chips wouldn't be going cold. The fully electric I-PACE will join the crossover lineup eventually, but for now the E-PACE is a more conventional junior partner to the F-PACE, the fastest selling vehicle Jaguar has ever built. Why wouldn't it want to capitalize on that with the smaller, more affordable but equally stylish second model line? With a $38,600 starting price it's nearly $3,500 cheaper than the equivalent entry points to the F-Pace and the Vauk ranges but, as we'll see, with a character of its own. If the E-Pace looks like a slightly truncated F-Pace with some sharper body detailing and a sportier face, then little wonder. The basic lines are familiar but it's 13.3 inches shorter overall and 7.6 inches less in wheelbase. It looks taller as a result but is more or less identical to the F-Pace in height, with harder edges, reverse cuts in the flanks that catch the light, and a slinky trunk lid helping make it look lower and wider than it actually is. The major difference under the skin is the E-Pace's transverse engine layout, the basic foundations shared with the Evoque and distantly related to Ford Zuck platform. This is a Washington Zach situation, though, as the fundamental layout and center floor pan are similar to the Evox, but the front subframe and rear suspension all new. The powertrain is more closely related, being based on Jaguar Land Rover's 2.0-liter Ingenium turbocharged gasoline engine and driving all four wheels through a 9-speed automatic transmission. There are two power options. 246 horsepower for the standard car and 296 horsepower for the R Dynamic models. Also used on the Evoque, the active driveline system on R Dynamic models is based around GKN's twinster rear axle unit, with full torque vectoring across the rear axle when engaged. And if this is suddenly ringing bells that's because, yes, it's the same hardware corrupted by Ford to turn the Focus RS into an oversteering, drift mode enhanced Hoonigan. Unlike Ford, Jaguar doesn't overspeed the rear axle to contrive that oversteering balance, though it was apparently considered early in development. Durability concerns and the fact that Sacker moms are probably more interested in all-weather traction than going full can block put paid to that idea, but the power advantage over close rivals like the 228 horsepower BMW X1 xDrive 28i and 208 horsepower Mercedes GLA 250 mean Jaguar has the sportiest option in its class.